Okay, so let's talk about paid versus organic. Um, the people that you see that get it right. Now, maybe, maybe, is there anybody out there that was getting it right? Or did you have to go in and start coaching these people from the beginning and, and kind of create this whole new um, process where there wasn't one before? So I, I've taken out of, you know, there's a lot of different ways to make money in residential real estate sales, right? I mean, there's a lot of different ways to get leads, different types of leads. So what, I, what I've come up with inside of our Closing Zone Demand program is what is the, the easiest to implement, the fastest to scale, and the cheapest to maintain. So out of everything that I know, I boiled it down to a start to finish process that pretty much solves and checks all the boxes that we as agents and humans necessarily want. Yeah. So, man, I want you to back up there and tell us again, because I was taking notes. Uh, you, you mentioned the fastest to scale. Tell me those priorities again, exactly how you did that. But here's why I want you to do that. This is not just about real estate. What, what he's laying out for you is will work in any business, including a, a vendor business. If you serve car dealers, if you if you serve real estate agents. So break that down for us again, exactly how you your qualifications there. So out of all the options that are available for you to run a business, what is the easiest to implement, the fastest to scale, and the cheapest to maintain ongoingly? Mm -hmm. And that's what I've created closings on demand around in the real estate realm. So it's it's easy, it's fast, and it's cost effective. So in any business, you don't want to tackle the the biggest mountain first. Now we are all problem solvers and there's going to be times when you have to do a whole lot of things that you don't really feel like doing. But I, I, I like the number two right there, the best, the fastest to scale. I have so many people that think that, or that they don't understand the cash flow quadrants, the other four pain window right. where you're either working for your money or your money's working for you or either other people are working for you. So that's all about scale. And if you, if you're not scaling your business, you're really, you're not growing your business. You don't have a real business. In my opinion, you have a job and sure you, David, I know you could go into any market. You could implement the things that you do and you could sell a lot of homes. You could get a lot of buyers. You could make a lot of money, but being able to scale this and get this out to thousands of, of agents, that is so important. If you're running a business, you definitely want to have something that's scalable. And so let me ask you this. Will this process work in any market? 100%. Uh, the only thing, you know, people buy and sell property for a reason. And then we just focus in on that reason to attract them, you know, to our clients. So um, now there's different types of markets. There's a buyer's market, seller's market. So there's little tweaks. But at the same time, though, the, the process that we teach, that doesn't change. I always tell people um, you can learn this process, one process that's proven itself over the years. And the only difference between somebody that's selling 10 homes a year and our clients that are selling 100 homes a year is that they're doing exactly the same process. They've just gotten better at it. So I say, here's one process to really learn and dive into. And then it's just repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, no reason to always keep thinking you have to change things. Um, so we repeat ourselves a lot. We we say the same things a lot. And that's how I know when my clients are really getting it. Absolutely, man. And that's so important. You know, um, Paul, he's, he's my number two guy up here. Um, he's my operations manager. And it's kind of, it's, it's a little bit of a joke, but when he's, you know, um, he's very surprised when we have a meeting and I say something different that I haven't said before. You know, so, you know, and, and I do that on purpose, though, because it works. We found we created something that works in any market, in any economy, and we brought it to market and we duplicate it over and over and over and over again. And we are we we have adapted. We adjusted. You know, we built this facility to so where we can scale and even in an even larger way. But. If we had to start over tomorrow, we would do the same things over and over and over, you know, and, and that's so important. You don't have to reinvent the wheel, but you do have to get out of your comfort zone. 